Thanks very much. So um, my name is Edward Hanrahan. I'm from an Oxford-based organisation called Climate Care. Um, we don't do biodiversity offsetting, so I just want to be very clear, we're actually quite violently against it. Um, so what we do is um, CO2 um, mitigation projects, mainly in the developing world. Some of these are funded by um, the practice known as carbon offsetting, um, and I'm, it's possibly the most misunderstood area of climate change mitigation. So I've got three minutes to talk you through that. So I'm going to very much focus on the CO2 element, the climate change element of this. So the first thing is that there's no such thing as a carbon offset project, no matter what you, you have heard. There are emission reduction projects or climate change mitigation um, projects, which happen um, all over the world. And now under the Kyoto Protocol, they cannot happen actually um, in a country that has a target under, under Kyoto. Um, under the Paris Agreement, they'll be able to happen anywhere um, from uh, next year. And they are largely grouped into natural climate solutions or sequestration projects, which are similar to the projects that um, Fiona has talked about there, protecting standing forests, reforestation, that sort of stuff. Um, energy efficiency, which is basically where you're replacing an inefficient process that happens at the moment, and that could be in the developing world, um, cooking on a three-stone fire, replacing that with an efficient stove, which basically burns far less fuel, um, or renewable energy, wind farms, solar energy, um, all of those sorts of things at varying scales. Um, carbon finance actually paid for most of the decarbonation, uh, decarbonisation in the grid um, in Turkey, for instance, as an example. Um, so the offsetting, and then all of those things are just standard climate change mitigation projects. The offsetting part of it comes from the, how the finance is driven into those projects. What, who actually pays for those projects? So the offsetting side is where a, an emitter, a large emitter or a group of um, medium-sized emitters, finance is aggregated um, for people who want to take full responsibility for their residual emissions or are forced to take full responsibility for their residual emissions if they're in a compliance system. And finance is one of the above project types. So from next year, all of the types of projects that, um, or from 2021, all of the types of projects that Fiona is talking about can be financed through carbon finance under the Paris Agreement. Up until now, in the UK, we haven't been able to do those types of projects. So the important thing in that is that we have something called additionality, which basically says that those projects would not have happened without that level of finance. Um, is that, am I? One more. Oh, I've got one, I've got one more. So I haven't got a pen here. Is there a pen for this whiteboard? Uh, or I can do it on here maybe. Or is that a whiteboard marker? Oh, this is a whiteboard marker. So the important thing to remember, and this is possibly the most misunderstood part of offsetting, and I apologise that everyone can't see it. So here is our, I'm going to put a net zero target up here for 2040. You can see I slipped that in. I brought up, that goes up, is it? Up. Until I'm not happy. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, you try that until switch. Okay. So if this is our current emissions today, and let's say we are a large emitter with a million tonnes of emissions, and we are growing as a business, but let's say we are getting our, um, you know, let's say we're getting our, our um, carbon efficiency, we're growing as a business, but our carbon efficiency is, is increasing. So actually, that would be our business as usual trajectory. And we start to invest some money because we bought into the net zero target for 2040. You see, I've slipped that in there. It's not 2050, um, not 2030. Um, so we're trying to be pragmatic here. Let's say we get there. Let's say we, we fund all of that work. What everyone focuses on are these emissions, and these are the internal reductions. The thing that is causing climate change today is that bit, and will continue to for the next two decades. So what offsetting does is calculates what this is on an annualised basis and funds a commensurate amount of emission reductions that would not otherwise happen to be reduced through one of those things, removal, natural climate solutions, energy efficiency, or renewable energy somewhere else 
in the world. And under Kyoto, that is somewhere without a Kyoto target. Under Paris, it's anywhere. So it can be in Oxfordshire, it can be in Scotland, it can be in Sierra Leone, Liberia, anywhere. That's it. Is that my three minutes? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs>